this is Carrie Gibson with Layman's Learning at www.laymanslearning.com with a new tutorial for you guys about search engine optimization. What we're going to talk about today is Joomla, which is a CMS or a content management so system software that is used for uh, lots, of, lots of different sites. It's a free open source software. But what we want to talk about in terms of search engine optimization is the H1 tag. Joomla, which is represented here by this, this site right here, this is a, a Joomla site, does not incorporate H1 tags into our titles. This is a WordPress blog and it does, but Joomla has lots of advantages over WordPress. WordPress is a blog software, first of all, and Joomla is a content management software. What I want to show you is, um, so you can find out for sure whether your site is, is using H1 tags, is on your browser, if you come to view and view the page source, you can do a search, which you do with control F and type in H1, and you'll see it jumps right here down to, to this H1 tag, and the tag says absolutely free e-course, which is exactly what this page is, absolutely free e-course. Here is the actual title, and that is what is being encased in that H1 tag. The H1 tag is the third most important place for your keyword to show up for search engine optimization. The first place is your domain name, the second place is your URL, and then, well, the third place is your title. Uh, so I guess I misspoke. The fourth place is your H1 tag. So here I've got uh, my domain name is web WebsiteMarketingSkills.com, but my URL is absolutely free eCourse, and then my title tag shows up here, absolutely free eCourse, and then here's my H1 tag. If all of those things align and the copy on my page align, they all say the same thing, then the search engines understand that my site or this particular page on my site is optimized, stating, declaring, however you want to put it, that this page is about an absolutely free e-course about whatever is inside that that keyword phrase that I've used over and over again. So here we go to Joomla and if we go to uh, some page on the site I've got some free content here sign up for a newsletter notice I've got my URL if we go down here it says free content uh, sign up for newsletter it's in my URL it's in my title tag up here and it is right here. This was absolutely the name of my of my article. And we would hope that this would show up in an H1 tag. And we're going to look, and I'm going to tell you off the bat that it isn't. View page source, and we're going to do a find again, control F, if you're on a PC, and we're going to put H1 tag, and it's going to tell me it doesn't exist here. That's because the, the core of Joomla did not take this into consideration. They didn't utilize search engine optimization mentality when they created this software. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix that. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to do um, a hack to some of the core software for the H1 tag. And I'm going to pull all that up on my screen and show that to you right now. Okay, what I've got open here is one of the core pieces of Joomla. And I've got some text highlighted here. I want you to see this TD class equals content heading. And what this is, is where the article content for your site in Joomla is being pulled in right here and displayed. And I, and I want you to see that it's utilizing, if you know anything about CSS, this is a, a class style for this TD called content heading. And it's not defined in any way to say H, anything about an H1 tag. Well, what I've got here is a modified version of this, and here we've got the same TD class equals content heading. And then right here at the end of that, where it says width equals 100%, which is also in this, and then it's got its PHP tag, we've inserted right in front of that, right here, we've inserted an H1 tag. And I've also styled it. Now the style is going to be different from one site to another. Sorry about that. Had a bit of a phone call interrupt us. What I've done here is I've included an H1 style tag. Now I could have just said H1, just like this. And what I would have ended up with was this, the H1 that was applicable for my CSS in on my site. 
but I've gone ahead and styled it here just to show you that you can and so that it'll stand out when we, when we put it on the site. So I want you to see that what we've done is we've wrapped this PHP statement in an H1 tag. Here's my open H, H1 tag. And then right here is the close of my H1 tag and it's all inside of that TD right here. And it's not on this file. Now, there's actually two different files you have to do this to. Let's see, because I already had that together. There's two different files that you have to do this to. Both of them are inside your components folder on your site, inside of your com content, inside of your views. And then after that, it's split. You've got one inside your front page and one inside your article. Both of them are in your templates. And so I've broken that out this way. And I'm going to show you what that looks like when we put it on the site. All right, I'm in FileZilla right here. And what I've got is my fixed file sitting right here. And I'm in my public HTML folder. And we're going to go down to the components folder. And we're going to go into the com content folder. We're going to go into the views folder. Now this is where it splits. We've got the front page and inside of it we have the TMPL folder, template folder. And then what we're going to move over is the default item. This one right here. We're going to drop it over here. And now I want to overwrite it. And then after that, we're going to go into the articles folder that's in that same folder. So let me go back to the views. Okay, that's in components, com content, views. And then inside of that, there's the article folder. And inside of that's the TMPL folder. And then on that one, we're going to put this default PHP. And yes, we're going to overwrite it. All right. Now let me show you what happens now. Now if I come over here, I'm going to have to refresh. You saw that the style changed. That's because the style that I use doesn't match my site. And you'll probably want to play with that and change that a little bit up with your CSS. But the main point here is that as far as search engines are concerned, when we come in here now and we do a find, the H1 tag, here it is. It exists. And it's, it's defined with that crazy style, big old long style that I put in here. There's the beginning of it right here. It's the beginning. This right here is the end, the open H1, the close H1 tag. And my sign up for sign up for newsletter free ebook is the actual title of my website. And that's in an H1 tag. So now it's search them up by search engines and it matches all my keyword optimization. So there you have it. There's the H1 hack. If you guys want that, you can come over to my site, come to the free content. I'm gonna have a, an article posted on here in about 20 minutes that's gonna have a link for you to download the already modified files. All you have to do is change that styling to match what you want it to match. It will already be ready for your optimization if you just drop it into those folders. And I'll, I'll put some screenshots there too to show you how to do it. But it's going to be up in about 20 minutes. Y'all come check it out. Have a good day. Bye.